Are you looking to find a thriving city to call home? Well, Markham, Ontario is that place to look at and look no further. Markham, Canada's second largest tech hub and the 16th largest city overall, is the place that has an ample amount of growth and development opportunities. The city has advantages and disadvantages, just like any other city. In this video, we're going to explore the good and bad of living in this lovely city called Marco. Before we begin and get to that good info, I need you to smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm promote this video to people who are interested just like you. Hey, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to know everything about the eating, the sleeping, the playing, the good, the bad, the ugly of living in Simcoe County or York Region, all located in the province of Ontario, we want you to subscribe below and tap that bell for notification. You could be the first to know about the current markets in Simcoe County and York Region. My name is Solomon Amomensa with the Explore with the More team. We help people like you, 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 who are ready to make a move to Simcoe County and York Region, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're making a move in nine days or 90 days, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we will help you love your journey home. Markham, Ontario, like any place, has some downsides that you should consider before relocating to this place. The city's reliance on cars is the biggest drawback and going about to do your daily errands could be very bothersome if you don't have a vehicle. And that explains the massive traffic on Highway 7 at times and I hate traffic. It's still not like LA, but it gets bad during rush hour. Even though there's ride sharing programs and public transportation that are accessible, many Markham residents still view owning a car as a necessity. Another con, the high cost of living is a considerable drawback if you want to live here. Because of the city's quick development and growth, living expenses have increased. Properties are higher here in this part of York Region, making it more difficult for some people to afford to live here. Markham might not be the greatest choice if budget is tight. I don't know if this is a con, but this is something to consider if you are looking to move to Markham. In order to preserve the historic beauty of this lovely city, homeowners in the Markham area, especially in the conservation area, are subject to limitations on property improvements. Although the city may benefit from this, homeowners who make alterations to their properties may find it restricting. Finally, it could be challenging to find other dining options other than Chinese cuisine in Markham due to the city's predominantly East Asian culture. This, however, might also be a positive aspect of the city's diversity and culture. And this, personally, I don't mind it because I know where I could go to get great East Asian cuisine. And you guys know I love food. Now enough of that bad stuff, let's talk about the good stuff that's going to make you smile about living in this beautiful and lovely city, okay? So let's start with number one. Markham, Ontario is a real gem of a city, provides residents with ample amount of benefits. To begin with, it has thousands of thousands of tech business and sectors, making it the second largest tech hub in Canada and a region with a high employment ratio. So if you're looking for a city that offers job security and a thriving tech industry, then Markham is the place to be. Markham is known for having top-notch educational institutions. Notably, Seneca College has a campus there. Business, engineering, health sciences are just a few of many programs that Seneca College offers. Seneca College is a fantastic place to further your education and profession thanks to the state-of-the-art facilities and knowledgeable faculty. So the safety of Markham is yet another feature that you will love. It's a safe environment to raise a family because of its low crime rate. Knowing that your family or even your home, your property is well secure is something that will give you a peace of mind. Markham also takes pride in its convenient location which puts all modern amenities within ease and 
It's 32 kilometers away from downtown Toronto. With access to Toronto's lively city and the peaceful suburban life, you get best of both worlds by living in Markham, Ontario. With buildings from the 19th century, the city has well preserved its historic neighborhoods. It is a well place to live due to its blend of tradition and contemporary homes. Everyone could find something to do in Markham, including its annual Markham Fair, museums, art galleries, indoor bike arenas, community centers, swimming pools, malls, and theaters. People travel from towns, cities, and other locations just to attend Markham Fair, which is regarded as one of Canada's largest festivals. So there's never a dull moment living in Markham. So what's the verdict? Living in Markham has both advantages and disadvantages. And before choosing whether or not Markham is the best place for you to reside, for you and your family, it's crucial to weigh uh, the pros and cons. Now, this is where I come in. Despite its drawbacks, Markham is a wonderful city to live and call home. Thanks to its booming tech sector, its excellent educational institutions like Seneca College, and the historic neighborhoods that Markham has to offer. And I hope this makes your decision easy. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please leave in the comments down below what your favorite thing to do in Markham, whether it's in the summertime or winter time. So as I mentioned before, my name is Solomon. Whether you're looking to make a move in nine days or 90 days, please feel free to shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a phone call. Let's schedule that Zoom call. Until next time, we hope we can help you love your journey home.